Well, new COVID cases have been going down for the last little while, although not in the last week or so. Vaccines are becoming more widely available and you may start to see things open back up. But for some of those changes, they may be met with anxiety. Amy Nay has more on what you can do when it comes to our evolving guidelines in this week's Healthier Together. The sounds of a normal sporting event or a packed venue to hear live music. These things we'll be able to do again eventually. But the transition back to a more normal life may come with some anxiety. All of this will require some change, and change does create stress and anxiety, sometimes even fear. Dr. Jim Polo from Regents Blue Cross Blue Shield specialized in behavioral health and child psychiatry for more than 25 years. Remember that our new normal will not be exactly the same as it was before. There may be some recommendations that will continue long into the future. He says we need to do what we can, like get vaccinated when it's our turn, continue to wear masks at least initially, and keep washing your hands well. And remember, this won't all happen at once. Set your expectations accordingly. The most important one is it's still going to take some time. He says, try to stay healthy. Take care of your body. Eat well, get plenty of sleep and regular exercise. And limit your exposure to negative media that may increase your feelings of anxiety. And even though we may still have to socially distance a while, don't let yourself get socially isolated. Make sure that you maintain connections with your friends and family. If you still can't get together with them in person, you can still do so using social media platforms. And if your anxiety continues or worsens, reach out to a doctor or behavioral health specialist. For Healthier Together, Amy Ney, Fox 13 News, Utah.